quiet, please. Good morning, Nika, ma'am. Right. Thank you, ma'am. So, as you know, today is a very special assembly. Today is the day when we congratulate and say thank you to our present student council and also we say welcome to the new student council. So I'll hand you over now to our head boy and head girl. Seated by uh, the river in a circle. 
our instructor took uh, a stick and drew a large circle in the mud. That, he said, is everything one can possibly do. Anything man can possibly do. And within the big circle, he etched a smaller circle. And that, he said, is your comfort zone. What you feel most comfortable doing. Your friend there may love acting in plays and making speeches and debate, while you feel slightly hesitant to participate. Or you may be scared to try a sport. Or you say in despair, I just can't sit for more than four hours at a stretch to study. So what our instructor said is this, that by slowly trying new things and doing them again and again, your circle of comfort slowly becomes bigger till you are afraid of nothing. Transformation is important. We came into the council with mixed personas, different leadership styles, some the quiet types, some the organized types, and some very outgoing. But it's important to leave in rich as a versatile leader. I'll admit, at my first assembly here on stage, or from my first council meeting, the slightly quiet Ananya had to take charge and lead a meeting. But I felt this amazing energy and tension. Slowly, as you grow accustomed to it, you love it. And then, you just don't want to leave. <coughs> to Mrs. Nita Ambani, you are an inspiration for us. In the language of physics, there is a field of positive and magnetic energy around you, which I believe brings out the best in each one of us. I have always been enamored by the concept of leadership. Who is a good leader? A leader is one in whose presence people feel safe, secure, and assured. Nita Ma'am, thank you for being a role model, an exemplary leader in every field, education, healthcare, sport, philanthropy, and more. Your prestigious selection to the International Olympic Committee and address on sport at the Vatican are matters of pride for each of us. To our heads, teachers, Thank you so much for having faith in our council, for guiding us, supporting us, and allowing us to contribute to school affairs to such a great extent. We will always be grateful for this opportunity. Where would we be without you? It is hard to imagine a day with no teachers to welcome you warmly, sometimes with a surprise test. To teach with love and care, encourage you always. Thank you to Mr. Basu and to our council teachers, Ms. Gandhi, Ms. Madhavan, Ms. Kaur, for being there for us always for ensuring that the cogs of our machine run smoothly, and for adding an element of finesse organization to laborious work. We truly admire your commitment to student life here at DAIS. On behalf of our council, I express deep appreciation for the efforts of our school technical team, the lift staff, housekeeping, canteen, and administration for being so approachable and supportive. To our incoming council, a year of unbelievable experiences awaits you. And I take the liberty to extend this to our entire student body here. A year of unbelievable experiences awaits you. Everyone here is part of this journey. And finally, to our council, the council of 2015-16, I will miss you. To our core council, Kashif, Disha, Aman, Ashna, Ashu, Sara, Tanvi, Smithy, all the house captains, you are talented, fine, and simply amazing. Let's stay humble, stay grounded, and remember, this is part of who we are now, and this will never escape us. DAIS, the honor was ours. Thank you for allowing us to serve you. Signing off in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you, Ananya. Good morning, everyone. Today morning, when I got out of bed and dragged myself to school early for one last investiture practice, I realized, whoa, today's the last time I have to wake up early for a council event. The last time I have to prepare a speech or an assembly plan. The last time I'll have to make the council keep quiet for just two minutes and listen to some instructions. After today, no more breaks will go in Mr. Basu's office. No more four missed calls from Ananya and hundred messages on the council group chat every time I look at my phone. In short, I realized that I was finally free and would have a social life again. But the strange thing is, I wasn't feeling happy already. 
I didn't want it to end. I didn't want to not be head boy anymore. Last year I stood before you at this very podium, filled with excitement and enthusiasm, eager to begin the year. And I'm happy to say that today, after everything and all the work, I do it all again in a heartbeat with the same excitement and the same enthusiasm. And that's only because of two things. Firstly, the fulfillment we got from the work that we've done. As your sports coordinator Ashutosh said last week, each one of us has put in our all and not because we've had to, but because your participation and unbelievable enthusiasm has made us want to. It's inspired us to want to. Whether it's the large groups of students with banners, pom-poms and their faces painted on sports day, or the echoing sounds of the houses screaming Go Jaguars, Lions, Tigers or Panthers at house assemblies. It's these moments that have kept us going during crunch time by reminding us exactly what we worked so hard for. And the second thing that's, kept, that's made this year beautiful and wonderful is the people we've had the privilege of working with. I'd like to start with the heads and council teachers. For me, the heads have changed from figures of authority I used to fear slightly to figures of guidance and support. When I was a younger student, I would hope not to run into Mr. Basso on the hallway. This year, I've darted to his office with the smallest idea or the slightest confusion, hoping he's there and is free. So thank you heads, Ms. Munshi, Ms. Tarapurwala, Mr. Impi and Mr. Basu for always being there to direct us and help us along the way. As for the council teachers, they have to sit through every council meeting and tolerate our noise pollution. They've been there for us 24-7, always ready with advice and suggestions. Similarly, the sports department has always helped change dates, add last minute participants and ensure the smooth flowing of every sporting event in our school. This tenure would have been a complete mess without your constant support, so thank you so much. Next, I must mention the core. I have to tell you that while the head boy and head girl may be the face of the student council, the coordinators and sports coordinators are its driving force and nothing would be possible without them. Trisha, Aman, Ashutosh, Ashna, Smithy, Sara and Tandi, thank you for being the best team we could have possibly asked for. Thank you for your constant hard work and dedication. Thank you for your unbanned commitment. And most importantly, thank you for being a family and always going out of your way to help when the situation required. If there's one thing I learned this year, it's that a leader is only as good as his or her team, and that anything can be accomplished no matter how daunting if you have a good, efficient, and like minded team the way we did. Last, but certainly not the least, house captains. Wait, why should I thank you all? You've never listened to us, ever, and you always look for ways to attack the core. Well, but the truth is, this year would have been plain boring and drab without all that, without all those disagreements and should I call them animated discussion. What really made this year special is how we always somehow managed to reach a consensus about things and work together as a team to make every single event a success. So to you all, I'd like to say for the first and definitely the last time that you're the most capable, talented and brilliant people I could have ever asked for. And it's been the biggest honor and privilege to be your head boy. With that, I look to the incoming student council and see so many possibilities, so many ideas, dreams and plans for the future. We can safely say without a shadow of doubt that you will carry forward this legacy and take the school to even greater heights. I can't imagine coming to school every day without this badge and not being head boy. But like all good things, even this tenure must come to an end. At the end of the day, as my dad always says, the only constant in life is change. As the outgoing council filled with memories, experiences, and maybe a little bit of wisdom is, is giving up its position, a new council full of excitement and fresh ideas will take its place. And while I don't want this to end at all, I feel reassured that this responsibility is in your capable hands. I guess all that's left to say is that I'm going to miss this like crazy and I love you all so much. Thank you DAIS for the best year ever. Thank you. May I now request our chairperson Mrs. Ambani to please come on stage.
begin with the Jaguar House. Cub House Coordinator, Harshvardhan Javedi. Sports 
Sports Captain, Anusha Vaidyanath. Vice House Captain Kaur, Ritu Shah. Vice House Captain Boy, Manav Modi.
sports coordinator girl, Sachi Mano. Sports coordinator boy, Rohan Dev. Student Council Coordinator, Anukta Jain. And now, your head girl for the year 2016-17, Ashna Sandesha. We proudly present the Student Council for the year 2016-17.
Thank you, Mrs. Ambani, for creating an institute I can call my home and giving us opportunities that would otherwise be unthinkable. Thank you, heads and teachers, for making sure that I never drift from my goals and making me restore faith in myself when I'm down. Thank you to my friends and family for always reminding me how proud they are of me. And of course, thank you to the outgoing council for not only leading us this past year effortlessly, but also entrusting us in taking forward your legacy and building our own. After having seen 10 head girls make their speeches year after year, it's an extremely proud moment for me to be able to add my name to that list. I have imagined myself in this position for as long as I can remember. Through all the 10 speeches, I sat, listened, and dreamed of being where I am today to serve who I believe are the most enthusiastic, passionate, and hardworking students. These past 13 years, moving back seats in the bus from the first seat to the center of the last seat, and moving back rows from the first one to the last one in assemblies has been an incredible journey. Our school has done so much for us, and now I can't wait to give back in every way that I can. And I couldn't be happier because I'm able to represent your voice as students alongside the best counsel I could have ever asked for. We as a council aim to be like every other council has, one that drives you, motivates you, and helps you when you're down. We will, as a council, try our best to make you explore new talents and interests, and we ask for you too to accept challenges and step outside your comfort zone. So this year, whatever your house or grade may be, please do come up to us and make any suggestions that you want, or simply just to say hello. Ever since we were in the LKG, our school has taught us to take on challenges, set high standards for ourselves, and then exceed them. We have been taught to dare to dream and to learn to excel. As head girl of the Dhirubha Ambani International School for 2016-2017, I can vouch for the fact that no dream is too big and no goal is too high if you're willing to put your heart and soul into achieving it. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not confident enough, smart enough, popular enough, or even tall enough for getting what you want. <laughs> I promise you, if you believe in yourself and work harder than anyone else to get what you want, there is nothing that can stop you. A short, nerdy girl once studied for the wrong subject on her final exam. That same girl learned from her mistake and promised to do her best from that point forward. If that girl can then go on to be head girl, it's safe to say that we all may make mistakes, but it's how we handle them that makes us who we are. So, to all of you in the auditorium, and my beautiful council for 2016-2017, let's give this year our all. Let's work as a team, hold each other up, and most importantly, let's grow into the achievers our school has always taught us to be. Thank you. May I now invite your incoming head boy, Prasid Chhabria, to address you all for the first time. Respected Chairperson, Mrs. Ambani, Honorable Heads, Teachers, and my fellow students. Dream. Perhaps the most powerful word known to us. We've all grown up dreamers. From back in primary school, when we'd admire the towering seniors at the back of the bus, to ambitious, empowered individuals envisioning a better tomorrow. But sometimes, a dream seems so far-fetched, and the cliché, dreams do come true, 
simply doesn't cut it. It is in times like these when I sit down, turn my head away from those who tell me it's a distant dream and proceed to do all in my power to make it a reality. And today, I am proud to stand here before you as your head boy to vouch on behalf of the Student Council 2016-17 for the power of one such dream with all my heart. In the midst of this multitude of dreams, you and I, we often take one thing for granted, that we are fortunate enough to be members of a school community that constantly pushes us to dare to dream. Not many institutions around the world make it their mission to celebrate a culture of excellence. And that is exactly what brings us out on top. Thank you, Mrs. Ambani, for so carefully crafting an institution that we have been able to embrace as a home, where we have learned to step so far out of our comfort zones and seek excellence in ourselves where we would least expect it. It may have been just four years for me here at DAIS, but it is here I have discovered conviction, strength of character, and an identity of my own. And for that, I am forever indebted to you. This year, as always, we are lucky to have the most promising team to take on the year's challenges. And I think I speak on behalf of everyone on this stage in saying that the last thing we would wish to do is to step out of those gates for the very last time next year without having given back this small fraction of what the school has given us. And so, we plan to encourage and support you more than ever before. Our exceptionally motivated house captains are sure to challenge you, but it is in your hands to accept. Grab each opportunity and try your best, regardless how how daunting or unfamiliar the task. After all, there is no better place to experiment with your strengths and weaknesses than school. For it is here that we learn not only to chase victory with passion, but also to accept defeat with grace and humility. To my dearest fellow students seated here at the front, there is nothing you are incapable of so imagine the possibilities. We can promise you that the reward of a challenge is like none other. For there are things you can simply never know about yourself if you choose to remain in that comfort zone. Now, before we seek to take on perhaps the most exhilarating journey of our school lives, we'd like to take a moment to be grateful. To the outgoing student council, Thank you for making school life feel seamless, as if events so effortlessly, almost magically organized. We are about to realize just how many all-nighters hide behind that facade. To Kashif and Ananya, thank you for always exemplifying integrity and goodness as you do. You truly have set the bar high. To all our teachers and all our heads, it is because of you that we stand here today, and as a council, it is you we now wish to repay. And of course, to all our fellow students, it is our utmost pleasure to enrich your year with countless enjoyable experiences. But we can only succeed if you consistently rise up to the challenge. So if you do encounter us anywhere, please never hesitate to come up, ask a question, offer a suggestion, no matter the scale. After all, we are nothing without your voice. With that, we look forward to an eventful and extremely rewarding year as your student council, because together we can make more dreams come true. Thank you. Your student council will now lead you in singing the school song and the national anthem. So please rise.